My sister, I'm seeing you in you in what is this place? I'm seeing you in a hall. And I'm I'm seeing this like what is this place? Um wait, I'll tell you. I'm seeing a concert last year. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait. And I'm seeing I'm seeing this place that is full of colors people. It's in Yes. Hmm? Yes. And I'm seeing you singing there. Yes, I was hmm? singing. Yes. And now here the whole of your life here is like it's blocked. Huh? It's true. And the gift that God gave you, it can manifest itself. Uh, yeah. So I want to pray for you that God must help you today because I just saw this area of colors. Yes. And I saw in a hall in Rabarish. It's true. Huh? It's true. So I want to pray for you. I want God to help you. And when you sleep, there are spirits that are always trying to visit you. Huh? Yes, it's true. And these spirits are doing funny, funny things on you. Huh? Yes. So today, and I'm seeing down there. It's true. Huh? It's true. In your private. Yes, it's true. There are some funny things that are yes, it's true. trying to come out. It's true. Come out! You demon. Bring her here. Why, why are you... Why are you making these things to... This is very bad. I can't say, but I can't... I can't say, but I can't say, but I can't say. This one, I got Why are you making these different fluids to come out? With different colors. Yes. So you don't want them to go anywhere? She's the old, she prays. She fasts for those stupid people. You know. And I would say, we're not going to she hears from that one. Everything else is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit and today, the man of God, Prophet Andrews, located you. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and also confirm it? Uh, Prophet Andrews uh, told me about last year I was involved in, with people who were doing music. I was singing. So there was a man, a pastor actually, who invited me to come and sing at his concert. So I went there. But after that, I tried other stuff, things with music, but it didn't work out, and I confirmed that to be true. And also, he told me about uh, the spirits that are visiting me in the night, and which is very true, because uh, whenever you know, when you have this oppression, when you are sleeping, you just feel like somebody's just oppressing you. Those are the kind of uh, things that I go through. And also, he told me about uh, the discharge which is true, I, I confirm to be true because I always uh, get this different color discharge and I'm always concerned uh, about them. And I confirm that to be true. And how was this affecting you? Because mm, th there's actually nothing moving because I, I know I'm a musician. I know I can sing. You know when you know you can do something but you've been doing it for so long but nothing is moving, nothing is working out. In my family, nothing is moving at all, actually. My entire family, nothing is moving out. My brothers, my sisters, my brother tried an Uber business, it's not working. My sisters also, she lost a job. So all these things, uh, I feel like nothing actually was actually moving in my whole entire generation. That's how I feel. So nothing was actually working out for me and my family members. Uh, and this operation, how would it happen? Like, I would see somebody, I would actually see somebody 
uh, the last time it happened, I would actually see somebody. It's either entering my room or last time I saw a, a person like a small child. But I saw the person behind me and the person was blowing hot wind or hot air, I could say, in my ears. And a lot of times I just see people just, sometimes I see somebody just standing over me or somebody, I see as if somebody's trying to like strangle me or whatever. It just uh, come like that. And, but most of the time I don't see the face of the person, but I just see that, okay, this is a person trying to do this to me. Yes, that's how it happens. And when he was praying for you, you were manifesting the demon, mentioned that you were aware that the man of God was going to locate you today. Is, is that true? It's very true. Actually, everything that happens to me, whether it's, it's, it's I'm going to meet somebody or whether I'm going to uh, get a word from somebody or whether I'm going to meet somebody for something, I always knew, know beforehand. It always comes like um, it's a feeling or sometimes I just see as if I'm, as if I'm, you know, when you, as if you are dreaming something, or as if you are thinking of something. But as I'm thinking it, then the the minute afterwards, then something like that happens. So it always happens like that. So I, even when I was sitting there, I knew that he's gonna talk to me, but I didn't know if it's today or when. But I knew that it's gonna happen. Yes. And now, how are you feeling after your deliverance? Uh, I feel I, I've, I've, I'm very excited for my life and I thank God because uh, actually I have all, always wanted somebody to speak to me uh, about my situation because I feel like if somebody speaks to you about it and they're giving you a solution, it's better than if I am, I am, I, because I know my situation and I'm the only one who knows my situation and I've, I don't tell a lot of people but you know, when a man of God tells you your situation and brings a solution, I feel so excited. I feel like I, I, I know that I'm delivered. As, as God uh, has exposed this demon, I know that I'm delivered from this demon. Amen. And now what are you expecting God to do for you? Uh, I've always wanted to be in the music industry. That's my dream. So I'm expecting God to uh, help me to get the finance to be able to make a music because uh, my dream is to have a music semi-live recording or live recording. That's my dream. So I want to uh, actually expand on the gifts and the <laughs> that God gave me because that's my dream. I want to be a musician and I want to be a gospel musician who is... I, I, I want to be a gospel musician who's anointed, not just any gospel musician. That's my dream and that's my hope for myself. <laughs> Amen.